guys, it's Jennifer at Pink Vision, and today I just wanted to do a tutorial on how to render out your Minecraft skin. And basically, this is like kind of the first step on how I make my thumbnails. And um, I can show you in, say, like a part two video if you guys really want um, how I actually finish up my thumbnails, how I add the text and all the effects and stuff. And so the first step is what you want to do is you want to go to this um, this rig here, and I'm actually going to save it as a favorite. I will link this in the description down below. Basically, with this, um, you're going. This is going to um, have the loaded Minecraft kind of render model, and this will just help you um, pose the guy a lot easier. And so basically you want to click download the model and it will download it as a .zip file as you guys can see right here. And I'll show you that really soon. And if you want to get Blender, you can just click this link and it'll take you to blender.org. It's a free download um, and it's great. So now, let's minimize that. So what you want to do is open the .zip file and you want to double click the Minecraft player.blend and you should already have downloaded Blender. So let's open this up. Hold up. Um, that's it. Okay. So you want to double click that and it will take you to this. It will open up the Blender and it will open up this file for you. So that is great. So now what you want to do is right here, this button here, it will it's right now, currently it's a packed file. You want to unpack this file. So just click that and click right file to current directory. So click that. Okay, so now I'll show you all the settings that you will need. So basically you want to click this camera here and you want to make sure that the resolution is all the way up to 100%. You want to scroll down go to shading and instead of sky you want to make it transparent this will make a transparent background so you can use this render in any thumbnail you would like or really like a you know even a profile picture um, okay so now you want to change RGB to RGBA and make sure that it's set as a PNG and then the last setting you want to do is right here when it says TMP you want to click this symbol and this is basically where you want to save it so I'm gonna going to be saving it in my thumbnails and I'm gonna save it as render 3 because this is my third render um, so now that we have all these settings done basically I just kinda wanna show you guys around blender it's really an easy way to get perfect renders instead of you know trying to crack or trying to buy Cinema 4D and Photoshop it's just a lot of work so um, basically down here this is the skin and then this is the model here so you want to click um, player armature and you want to click the second option, the second guy here. And it's going to make these like, um, it's going to make these uh, colorful armature so you can move the guy around. And you want to go, um, right now it's pixelated, but um, first of all, you want to go to file user preferences. And before I did this, Mip maps was on because that's by default and it will just make the pixels really blurry so you want to turn that off and then you want to go to input and make sure that you check emulate three button mouse and you want to click save user settings and close this down so the next thing is you want to go to here this button right here image and you want to click replace image and just um, look for your skin you want to um, make it your skin you want to double click it and it should open up your skin as your character so we no longer need this area right here, so we're going to kind of close that up. And you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and zoom out. So, and then now that we have that emulate three button mouse thing checked off, you want to hold alt and then you can just move your guy around here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how you can pose and there's really a lot of different options. You can really pose. There's just so many different options that you can do. So um, I'm going to think of a different pose this time. So I'm going to have my guy kind of looking a little bit sideways but still kind of towards the front. Um, so first of all, let's do this arm here. You want to right click and it will highlight that armature and that shows that that's what you want. But if you look when we move it, 
it moves the arm around. You don't want to do that. So, what you want to do instead is hold, um, right click, and then click R, the R button once, and then I'll change it to a different setting. So now you can <laughs> rotate it like that. So I'm gonna kind of um, move it a little bit out, just a little bit, and then you want to left click again to secure it. Hold right click, press R again, and it's a uh, hold on R again, and now it brings up a whole new arrow settings. Now you can rotate the arm. So I'm gonna rotate it a little bit inwards. Now we're gonna go here. This this secures the bending, but if you look when we bend it, it just looks really awkward. Press R, and now you can bend it. So I'm gonna bend it a little bit, not too much. And then I'm gonna go here, and I wanna rotate it a little bit more in. Now, uh, what you wanna do is, actually it doesn't matter, but this is just the pose that I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna move this arm actually quite far out here, um, and then kind of rotate it a little bit, and then come down here and bend the arm a little bit. I don't want it to be too bent. Actually, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit here. So I kind of like that pose. Now this controls the body, so you can tilt your dude. So I'm gonna tilt, tilt her a little bit this way. Um, and then I'm going to tilt the head like that because it's a kind of a cute little pose there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, now for the legs, you want to make sure that you rotate them in the same direction as you have the body. Otherwise, it will just look weird. So I'm actually, I don't know why it's a little bit off there. Um... So I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. And then kind of move it down. All right. So for the legs, I want this leg to kind of be a little bit facing inwards this direction and then a leg bent like that. So first of all, let's move it a little bit up and then kind of move it a little bit this way. And then for the leg, oops, sorry, that's the phone. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're going to uh, bend the phone, the uh, phone, oh my God. Bend the leg a little bit like this. Um, just like this. I think that looks pretty good. Um, let's just move it a little bit more in. It looks a little bit detached, so I want to kind of move it up a little bit. That looks perfect for me. Now for this leg, I don't, I think I actually like that. So let's take a look at how it looks like. You want to press render, render image. So this is what your final thing looks like. And I actually really, really like this pose a lot. So we're going to go back to 3D view. So now that we have secured this, you want to save this as a .blend file, just in case you lose the actual render image. So I'm going to save that in my thumbnails folder as always, and I'm going to save it as render3. Save as a blend file. Now instead of clicking file and export, you want to click um, image, wait, okay. You want to render it out. Do -do -do. You want to click image, save as image, and save it wherever you want. I'm saving it in thumbnails again, and saving it as render three, and then save it as an image. So, now it should take you back to this page, and now if we look at our thumbnails folder, it should be in here. If we preview it, we can see how the final render looks like. It looks amazing. We have the hat 3D puffing out. We have the nice bending arms. And really, there's just a wide variety of different poses you can do. Like, here's my other pose that I did. It's just really cute and fun. And you can um, basically just make any pose that you want. And so, yeah, that's um, basically what you can do. This is a really easy way to um, make thumbnails, profile pictures. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of blender tutorial on kind of how to render out your skin, make it a 3D model, and yeah. So please make sure you hit the like button with your nose. Subscribe, please. Um, leave comments if you have any suggestions for my next video. And also leave comments down below if you guys want to see how I finish up the thumbnail, how I actually make the background, how I put, the, put in the text and make the effects. And so, yeah, I know I keep saying so, yeah, but <laughs> that's just how I talk. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!